Happy September 18th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest, Calendar of the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy watched as King Rathex smashed open the enchanted hourglass containing the spirit of the Tree of Seasons. Ivy did her best to avoid the fallout of that, but she is cursed. She now has disadvantage on trait checks, meaning when she rolls against her strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma, she rolls twice and takes the worst result. And that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Rathex continues his incantations and begins to consume the tree's spirit, the specks of light absorbing into his body. The power is too much for him to handle. He writhes and screams in pain. As he flails, he strikes the queen, sending her soaring into the air before she tumbles off the balcony. Uh-oh, there she goes. Uh, that's not good. I don't see any hidden icons on the page. We are going to do two things. One, avoid the flailing. <laughs> and uh, two, save the queen. All right, here we go. If you have, uh, let's see, one, avoid the flailing. If you have focus on Rathex written down from earlier, we do not. Gain a plus three bonus to this roll. That would be nice. Rathex's pincers and antennae become rigid and lose color. The shock on his face is frozen as life and color drain from the insect in his transformation. The mutation cascades down his body quickly. His remaining legs flail and move about erratically until they too are consumed. My goodness. All right. Here's our dexterity roll. 17 and 4. We take the 4 because we are cursed. Plus 3 is 7. <laughs> That's uh, off. We can get, uh, if we can get two more points. That's the worst result. If we can get two more points... And all we have, we have Disco, but I think he only gets us one point. Is that right? We better check. Does Disco get us one point or two? Disco, just one. So we've got the worst result here. Um, you are struck hard by one of Rathex's back legs as you try to dodge the thrashing limbs. Roll T D20 plus defense. Okay, this is not affected by the curse, and we get a 20. That's excellent. So we get a boon die, and we get the best result on the defense roll. So for some reason, we take more damage. I think that's an error. That's got to be an error. It says if the result is 18 or less, reduce your health by 2. And if the result is 19 or more, <laughs> reduce your health by 3. I think that should be flipped, so I'm going to take two points of damage. A better defense roll should result in less damage, right? So we're down to 21. I guess we'll check the errata later. Um, is that card? Yeah. Well, it's the same in the middle result, too. Why would a higher defense roll cause you more damage? I don't know. Moving on. Two, save the queen. Roll d20 plus dexterity. If you have focus on the queen, we do. Written down from earlier, gain a plus three bonus to this roll. But we're rolling with a disadvantage, so we'll roll twice. 13 and 11. That's not terrible. 11 plus three for focusing on the queen is 14. Plus three dexterity is 17. That's the best result. You watch as the queen's unconscious body is flung off the balcony. You have only a fleeting instant to react and save her, and now the best result. You react swiftly and race to the edge of the balcony. The queen's body was flung too far from the roof. As she begins to descend from her trajectory in the air, you instinctively know that you can't reach her. You race to the edge and make a flying leap over the balcony's ledge to dive head, for, head first toward her. Gain a plus two bonus to your first roll on the next page. Okay, well, I'll write that down. Plus two. I'll write it up here. Plus two first roll on 
919. Well, that, my friends, is September 18th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow and hopefully save the queen. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.